the Lord of Lords. You see, this week wasn't so good for me, but yet still, I gotta praise Him. I gotta praise Him in the good times, and in the bad times, I'm still praising God.
Come on, if God is good. You know, sometimes I come to church and I just want somebody to smile with me. Yeah. Hallelujah, God is good. Hallelujah, it's offering time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody say offering time. And it's giving time. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. We're going to command the enemy. I think we need to command the enemy in the name of the Lord to drop the weapon and flee, you know. For the Lord has given us the authority to walk all over the Hallelujah. Sister Selena, oh, my dear brother Ronnie will be following his direction as we come up to the center aisle and leave on the side as well. Hallelujah. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to drop your weapon and flee. For the Lord has given us authority to walk all over me. Come on, come on. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to drop your weapon and flee. For the Lord.
journey we are on is fraught with dangers. We are harassed. We are surrounded by a multitude of foes, all of which are determined to hinder our progress. We are also at different levels, stages in our journey. Each one of us are fraught with different dangers, as I've said. Some are worried about their age, their sin. They're on their own. Some are single, some are married. Some are going through financial challenges. Our attacker have come with different weapons. But the text this morning is from Psalms 92, 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Some weeks ago, the bishop's wife sent me a video. And the, bit, the pastor was casting out a demon. The demon spoke and said it was a sign to kill the individual on such and such a day. He told the road in Pretoria, Johannesburg, rather, the traffic light, the time. The death was supposed to have taken place. Many a times we don't realize the foes that we're up against. Amen. Glory to God. As a result, we are not cognizant of the dangers. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Therefore, we are not alert. But if you and I are aware of what we're up against, Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. The topic this morning, glory to God. Let your hiding place become your dwelling place, your abiding place. Amen. Father, we ask you this moment that you open our eyes. That we realize the protection that has been afforded, to, afforded us. We thank you for the angels that you have given charge concerning us. And this morning we are assured that of all the dangers that surround us, we are protected. We are protected and we are sheltered. Whether we are at school, at work, at college, at university, the car driving on the street, we recognize that there is no, there are no accidents, God coincidence. We praise you. And Father, we interrupt the forces in the realms of the heavenly, the unseen world. We declare our intention. We declare our hiding place. We declare that there we will abide. We declare in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every assigned plan, demon, every orchestration. In the name of Jesus, as we stand before you, we stand under the divine umbrella. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let your hiding place become your abiding place. Amen. It's crucial that we understand the songs this morning. Can you keep the songs up for me, please, unless I ask you to take it down? Thank you, Randy. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, worship leaders, musicians. Amen. Good to have more men leading this morning. Praise God. Amen. Amen. This song that we're about to read is crucial. It's an eye opener. Amen. Psalms 90, this previous song, focuses on, the de on dealing with the difficulties of life. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It deals with the difficulties of life. 
He talked about God being the hard dwelling place. All right, in place, praise God. Hallelujah. That the God that cares for us, for whatever days we are given. This psalms concentrate and focuses on the dangers of life. Amen, somebody? Amen. In the psalms, the author warns the believers about the hidden traps, yes, the deadly plagues, yes. the terrors at night yes. and horrors by noonday, stumbling over rocks, facing lions and snakes. So we read in verse 5, you shall not fear the terror by night, nor the howl that flies at noonday. Or the pestilence, glory to God, that walks in darkness. Or the destruction that wasted at noon. Check this out. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 7. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want us to notice, because many of us take it for granted, the foes that are around us. It spoke of a thousand at our side. And on your right hand, Brother Eric, because we think it's it's a devil, or it's it's something accident. I remember the last time you gave a testimony how that accident in Ireland, a thousand at our side, and ten thousand dropped this slightly for me, just like at our right hand. Oh, praise God. We also recognize that the intention is to come nigh our dwelling. Yes, amen. 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 So that psalmist warns us about the hidden traps, deadly yes, days, yes, terrors at night, hours at day. Believers, God keeps us. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. There's an old song. Praise God. Hallelujah. Keep the music low for me, please. Praise God. I, I'm the only, only one here probably know this song, Raheem, but I want you to put it up. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to declare it. Glory to God. I want to declare it. In the wrong. Sister Monita, glory to God. 
In, in Isaiah 41 verse 10. Praise God. Wherever we are. He said fear thou not. For I am with thee. Praise God. Oh praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be not dismayed. A thousand at our side. Ten thousand at our right hand. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Sister Dorcas. Ten thousand at our right hand. God said, fear thou not. For I am with thee. We are on different parts of our journey. But we've got the word. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. I've got the weapon. I've got the weapon. I've got the weapon. I've got the weapon. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about knowing a word. I'm talking about having a word. Praise God. I'm not talking about knowing a word. Nikki, I'm talking about having a word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Let your hiding place become your dwelling place. For I am with thee, not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Come on, somebody. You need to hear it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will, yeah, I will help thee. Whatever weakness you're having this morning, whatever failures you have been facing, I want you to know that God said I will help you. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are on your journey, God said I will help you. Praise God. A thousand shall fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right hand. The position is plain, is explained, and it's plain in the Psalms. It's plain in the Psalms, and it's explained. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the place is important. Let your hiding place become your dwelling place. We must enter and we must abide. Oh, praise God. And the place is the secret point of place of God. Amen. The author of the Psalms recognizes two addresses where the believers live. Amen. Praise God. The first, we live in a tent. A tent means it's mobile. It's not, it's temporary. Amen. The second is a secret place where we hide. The safest place in the world is a shadow. And if the, if only if the shadow is the shadow of the Almighty. Are you following? He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, the shelter of the Most High. Amen. Sister Muleta, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Trouble come. Problems come, whatever come. Hallelujah. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Praise God. Verse 2. God, whom I trust. Praise God. You see, believers, we're not exempt from problems. But Lord, oh hallelujah, we know we have a God with us. Now how literal are we to take these verses? We must understand the scripture. Can we become, because we are God-fearing Christians, can we count on immunity from the destructions at noonday and the pestilence in darkness or the thousands that are falling at our side? Have we any right to look, Nikki, 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 for special protection in times of famines, pestilence, Brother Harry, does God allow indiscriminately the evil and the good to fall on the just and the unjust as he sent rain and sunshine? Can someone talk to me? How do we answer the important questions when we are beset by trouble? Does the Christian lead a charm life clothed with impenetrable, penetrable armor, with no shaft or pestilence can pierce, which no shaft or pestilence can pierce. So that even when, glory to God, where the demon a thousand fall in the other side, oh glory, ten thousand at his right hand, he cannot be touched. Believers, it happened in Egypt, Exodus 9, 24 to 26. Glory to God. God is able to protect his people from destruction. If he chooses to, the Bible said in Egypt, nine 
Exodus 9, 24, there was hail and fire. Glory to God. Mingled with the hail, very grievous. Anybody know what hail is? Now in England, we see some little things. <laughs> like some tablets. Praise God. Such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt. Come on, church. Amen. Look at the word. Amen. We may not have a Bible, and it's up to you. Uh -huh, amen. So there was none like it yes. since it became, Egypt became a nation. Verse 25. And the hail smoke throughout all the land of Egypt. All the land. Somebody said all the land. All the land. All that was in the field, both man and beast felt it. Yes. The hailstone smote herbs of the field. It broke down every tree of the field. A big yes. The bigger than this. Chopped down trees. Yes. Hallelujah. Look at the next verse. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. Yes, God can protect us, Sister Doris. Yes, How do we understand the contradiction, the contrast, the irreconcilable differences, the, the, the dichotomy? How do we understand it? Is it true that we as Christians live in a symbiotic Praise God, an interdependent, mutual, it means that the two things are happening at the same time. Is it true that we live in a symbiotic world, situation, position? I want us to know that whatever happened to Job, it did not just happen on earth, it happened in glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, Jesus warns the Christians that they must bind on earth. Come on, Sister Jenny. We must bind on her. Many of us are binding on her, but we are not binding in heaven. Amen. It's only because we have the word of God why we know what was happening to Job. It was satanic orchestration. So when it's happening to you, Mark, and you start saying, oh, fall it, fall it, fall it. Boy, can't help you. She can't help you. Come on, look at your neighbor. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. She can't help you. He can't help you. I remember one time I was in hospital. And when I went in there, all right, but my wife called her friend and said, I need checkup. I preached four sermons that day. Them days when I preached, I sweat. So I wasn't feeling well. And she called her friend and they shut me up in the hospital room. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was there for five days, wired up. When I left, I caught a bug in the hospital. I tell you, I said I caught a bug. Somebody hear me? Not one of those that fly. I don't want to. Sister, sister uh, glory to God. Sister uh, Anderson, I caught a virus. And when I got home, it was then I was sick. I wish if I didn't go to the hospital. And I remember my mom stood at the door looking at me, wishing if she could help me. But the pain that was rocking me, she couldn't help. Sometimes we're looking to the wrong person to help us. They are helpless. They can't help us. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I want you to know, hallelujah, we are persuaded that God is acquainted with every particular connected with our trials. Amen. The very hairs of our head are numbers. Praise be to God. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were threatened. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we are not careful to answer you. We don't know the answer. But we are going to trust God. We are going to trust God. Hallelujah. We are going to trust God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Now, it's important that we allow our high 
hiding place to become our dwelling place. I remember once reading a story of a lady who lived on the mountain. And everyone was born that the storm that was coming, it was rough. You should batten up. She lived on the hill, way up on the hill. The pastor knew that there were no other house nearby. So he left his home and climbed the hill. Through the wind, before the storm, knocked on the lady's door. And the sister said, what are you doing here, pastor? He said, I, I have to come and make sure you're okay. He said, Pastor, you're wasting your time. Yes. So why? She said, God is protecting me. Yes. <laughs> can, you can't do anything. No. You were worried that God was already taking, a thing, taking care of the situation. Yes. Yes. You see, many of us in our storms, we are crying out, oh, then. Be careful of the words you pronounce. Joanna, are you hearing me? Yes, Glory to God. Amen. Be careful of the words you pronounce on your life. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. The position is important. The metaphor is the dwelling place in God. It's only another term for trusting God. Hallelujah. Which is happy to all. It's there you stay. You have confidence. The storm doesn't shake you. Praise God. It's God who is with you. Amen. You can say, Mickey, do I walk through the sky of the shadow of death? Shalom. Do I walk through the valley when my mother and my father forsake me? When my brother and my sister forsake me? When my wife forsake me? When my husband forsake me? Whether my manager forsake me, when my best friend forsake me, you're not hearing me. Then the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will take me up. The Lord will lift me up in his hands. Hallelujah. Then then somebody pray to God. Hallelujah. Dwelling in the secret place of the most high. Hallelujah. Is it, oh, glory to God. Dwelling in the secret place of the most high is his conduct. He hides us under his wings. Under his wings, under his shadow, we abide. Amen? Amen. It's an intimacy of fellowship which God's children enjoy in communion with him. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. When God makes a promise, his sovereignty secure is fulfilled. He said, surely, surely, surely he was cover you with his feathers. Come on, put that up for me right here. Surely he will cover you with his feathers. Come on. Not cover me. Not Sister Roy, Sister Dorothy, 
You may be up be on the hill of difficulties. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Ronnie, Amen. you may have different points. Junction 1, Junction 5, Junction 9. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Glory to the terrain of our life. The circumstances may change. Storms may rage and the wind may blow. But the unmovable and the unpredictable circumstances does not impact the God who has become our secret place and our hiding place. Amen. It will not impact our God. Hallelujah. In, in Romans chapter 8. Praise God. Romans chapter 8. What did I say again? I believe verse 35. Praise God. Verse 35. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. I want somebody not to. Because most of us read Bible. Most of us read Bible. But we don't carry our Bible in our hearts. I don't care how much you know. Brother Harvey, you could quote from Genesis to, to, to Revelation. When trouble comes, if you don't have your defense up, glory to God. The word of God is our shield and buckler. A shield. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got it right? Praise God. They don't speak pretending like I don't know, know your name. Yeah? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Rhythm and blues. Praise God. That's his nickname. Rhythm and blues. Praise God. The rhythm he has. Rhythm and he has. Amen. You know, a shield is something you put before you. One of the things, Sister Dorcas, that Paul wrote about. Glory to God. The armor of God. He talked about the helmet of salvation. He talked about the shield of faith. Which will quench all the fiery darts. Of the enemy. You see, Sister Nita Rose, in those days when they had the shield, some shield was just metal, some was wrapped with leather, and it was soaked in oil, so that when you shoot the arrow which has fire on it, glory to God, oh glory, it holds the fire. Praise God. So Paul said you must have the shield of faith which is able to quench all the fiery darts. Some of those darts are they're fiery. When somebody tell a lie on you, come on, church. Amen. Amen. that, when somebody tell a lie on you, when somebody tell untruth on you, glory to God, Hallelujah! It's not a lie. Praise God, Hallelujah! But the oh, glory, if you call it untruth, it's still a lie. But the Bible said, no weapon, Paul, that is formed, Sister Sandra, against us. No weapon. Come on, church. People don't know. Somebody not hearing me. Yeah. Now I checked. I was, what's the speed 
of light because God said he's the light of the world. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're not hearing me. Yes. You are. are you hearing me? God said he's the light. Yes. He's the light. Come on. Come on. He's the light. Glory to God. Now, I read that light traveled to Ireland. 99. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, hold on. Let me, let me put it again. 29,007. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm talking about nine figures here. So let me get it right. Praise God. 29,299 million. Glory to God. 792. Thousand minutes per second, miles per second, miles per second. Glory to God. That's, that's a lot. Two hundred and ninety-nine million seven hundred and peco miles meters per second, not miles meters per second. Those of you who are listening on the internet now, oh, it's alright. Put it on down. I know. You're going to check out. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, praise God. Amen. It means that 4,700 and peco miles per minute. That's fast. That means between here and New York, by the time it's a one, You know, we're afraid because we don't know who we have beside us. Amen. Praise God. You know, we read the song, we read, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord, Psalms 27, The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fall. Yes. Glory to God. Though an host which should encamp against me, hallelujah, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me in this, will I be confident. Praise be to God. One thing of my desire of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may have an island place in him. shadows of death. I will fear no evil. The God I serve is mighty. What is your secret place? Can you help me somebody? Hallelujah. The, the, the place that we are to enter in and, and to abide is a position. It's a position which is a secret place. A secret place. When you have a secret place, nobody knows where it is. It's a secret place. It's only your friends, close friends. It's a secret place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Whether I'm not the M4 or the M5 or the M6 or the M32, hallelujah. Whatever junction, I have a secret place there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So Romans 8. 35 to 39. He said, who shall separate me from the love of Christ? Glory to God. Shall a tribulation. Somebody say tribulation. Somebody say distress. Somebody say persecution. Some of that one because when somebody persecutes you, they're not going back to that church. A young lady called me. Just got baptized. In another church she called me yesterday. She said, Bishop, I, I'm not sure if I should go. I said, what? I'm not sure if I should go back to the church because they, they've done some wicked thing. I said, pardon. I said, call the pastor and talk to the pastor about what you're saying. Because some persecution that we get. Somebody shall persecution. Seven people shall persecution. Sister Rose, 
Sir, Sister Margaret Rose, only seven people shall persecution. Glory to God. So some minutes said, just make up the hate for me. Say persecution. Persecution. We have nine. We thank the Lord for the nine. Distress, famine, nakedness, peril, sword. Run with me right here. Quickly, please. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But we are not going to die. Nay. In all nay. Somebody say nay. Nay. Somebody said, hey, hey, hallelujah, I'm not here to help you, I'm here to preach the word of God to you because wherever you are, whatever position, it's your hiding place, and your hiding place is God. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Can we read it again? Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him. Right here. Glory to God. Run with me. Notice. Check this out. Why did Paul go for what he did and was able to conquer? He said, I am out here. I am persuaded. That's a problem with a number of us. Emily, I am persuaded. That neither death, life, some demons, glory to God. I know that some people have been planting eggs in my front door and my garden. I came here one Sunday and I found a hobby on the ring right here with a snake and two high, a red high on the head and the tail. But in the name of Jesus Christ, it go back to the center. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I direct it back to the center. Yes. The blood of Jesus Christ arrest you, yes. frustrate you, abort you. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesterday was put in the garden. This when I went back, when I was leaving, it was in the garden. When I go back just now, it was at the front door. But in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. No weapon, no weapon. The principalities, powers, principalities. Somebody say principalities. Somebody say angels. Somebody say powers. Things present. Things to come. Somebody say things present again. Things to come. Hallelujah. Run with me right here. I am persuaded, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me. It's a secret place, it's a position. It's also a word. It's also a word. Because when nobody sees and hears what you are hearing, God is giving you a word. Hallelujah. I remember, glory to God, just on Bristol Road and I was going through my darkest time. Somebody called me on Bristol Road and gave me a word. Hallelujah. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. It's, uh, it's Isaiah 41 10. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. It's a word. I got it on Bristol Road, but I carry it everywhere I'm going. It's in my pocket, it's in my heart, it's in my soul, it's in my spirit. Even when my Bible is at home, I've got it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. The death in our life. Come on, church. Yes, Some of us don't pray, pray. Don't shout. Amen. You can read God's word from cover to cover. Yes. And to next. If you haven't got it in your heart. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 There is something about the word shadow. Yes. It's interesting. Amen. You'll never have a shadow without light. Oh, glory to God. Psalms 27. Praise God. 18 to 11. Um, 18 onwards. Psalms 27. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Check verse 18 for me, please. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A, that's the last verse. Glory to God. It's Psalms 91. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Psalms 9 to 1. Praise God. Amen. Oh, I hope I got you right. Praise God. Oh, glory to God. Verse 18. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Harry. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's on it. God said, with long life. Praise God. Will I satisfy thee? Show me my salvation. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. A shadow. You'll never see a shadow without God. Hallelujah. Praise God. In Psalms, praise God. 18 and verse 11. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. In Psalm 2 Samuel 22, verse 29, he said, Thou art my lamp, O Lord. We're talking about the shadow. Thou art my lamp, O Lord. Glory to God. Some people will leave here today and forget that word. But you know, people who want serious and want to run with God, they mark things down. They mark it. They know where to find it. When trouble come. They said when trouble come, fit the shot, fit you. But I'm the only person who understands that. In other words, the shirt that is too small will fit you. You will humble yourself. Hallelujah. Thou art my lamp, O Lord. Thou art my lamp, O Lord. I don't care what people say about me. I need to know the word of God. Thou art my lamp. Simone, oh Lord, Hallelujah. the Lord will lighten Amen. my darkness. Amen. Come on, Amen. the Lord will lighten my Glory darkness. To Glory to God. Check yeah. this out. For by thee, I have run through a troop. Yes, my Lord. God. Hallelujah. For by thee, I have run through a troop. A troop is a whole lot of Hallelujah. soldiers. Hallelujah. But my God, by my God, I have leaped over wall. Amen. As for God, God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. Yeah. He's a buckler to all them that trust him. Amen. For who is God? Save the Lord. Amen. Who is a rock? Save our God. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you walk in my shadow, you are very near to me. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. So when I'm in God's shadow, my hand can touch him. Hallelujah. I can reach out to him. He will always be by my side. Amen. Somebody. Amen. The reference must be the holy place of the tabernacle where Peter said we are royal priesthood and we have access to it. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the secret place there is power. There can be no effective service that is not the outcome of communion with the Lord. Like God, Aaron, the Bible says, Aaron rod bud. He was put in the heart. But after years, when they picked it out, glory to the big body. Big body. Praise God. We are in dry place, desert place. Look at me because some of you are looking at me strange. Because you don't know the word of God. Here we find refuge from trouble, sorrow, from despair, or fortress against the forces that are arrayed against us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We say like root in root 116, they treat me not to leave you, not to return from following after you. Some people are saying they don't get a word when they come to church. That's your trouble. I preach the word. I preach the word. I research the word. I teach the word. And the roots and treat me not to leave you, but to return from following after you. For where you go, I will go. Thy God shall be my God. Thy people shall be my people. We can be very devoted. Our regular prayer times. Our outward decorum. All this we are speech concerned. And we have not communed with God. Because we are not in agreement with Him. The attitude is important here. 
He that dwells means a fixed position. Yes. Amen. Amen. Wherever I am, I praise him. Wherever I am, I praise him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. In Psalms 91, verses 3. Surely he will save you from the fouler snare and from the death. Surely. Amen. And I saw the demon speaking the other day. And I through that, through that young lady. The demon said, I was sent to kill her. I was sent to kill her. Yes. I realized that there are forces that we are dealing with that we are not putting ourselves Amen. under God's protection. Amen. Some Amen. of us are driving on the motorway for uh, for days and days, but we don't realize that there are forces out there That's to right. stop us. And we think we came through because we are clever, Sister Walden. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Douglas is because the hands of God. We need, when we pray on it, we need to rebuke demons from hell. Cancer assignment. Glory to God. Every demonic assignment, we need to pray against them. We need to rebuke them. We need to cancel them. Come on, church. Some of you, you, you just live the head in Come on, you need to cancel. Amen. Amen. Whatsoever you bind on earth, you shall bind in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth, some of your blessings are injured, kept back. But in the name of Jesus Christ, surely he shall save you from the fowler sneer and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and underneath his wings you shall find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night or the horror that flies by by day, or the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday a thousand. I remember a lady, she used to live behind church in Nottingham. You know, every time she's leaving her home, she said to her kids, if pastor turn up she showed them, them the bush, the draw, where my stuff is. Sometimes I'm at church and she brings, brought some food. Pastor, here's some dinner, some lunch. Sister Dawker, she would give her heart to the Lord. Because some people just think because they do good, you know. But one day, just beside my office window, there is a chemist and a doctor surgeon. And there is a, what do you call it, a pelican cross in the one with the light. You don't want that pew, 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 when, the, when the, if you're blind. You know yes. that one? Yes. Is that what you call a pelican? Yes. You're a driving instructor. You must know. <laughs> you must know the difference between a pelican and a uh, zebra cross. Which one is pelican? The one that makes noise. Yeah. Uh, the convict one? It flashes on the light, but it also makes noise, so you know. Yeah. And she said the red light by the, by the surgery came on. And the light not only flashed, but the noise came to tell her to cross. And she said she stepped off the pavement because there are some people don't cross unless the light say red. Green. Yeah, but the light say red. And the other one. And she said she stepped down. Come here, Brother David. <laughs> Glory to God. And she said she stepped down and somebody pulled her back. Pulled her violently back. And a car came up the road. It's a 30 mile zone. But the car came up bird speed. That's a Caribbean term. Praise God. Flying speed, Joanna. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Praise God. And pulled her back. And the car passed. She said if she had ever made another step, she would have been a dead woman. Yes. And when she looked behind her, there was nobody. There was nobody. Yes. You know, most of us don't realize how God protected us. Most of us don't realize how God protected us. You go to school, you're, you're in danger. Amen. You go to work, you're in danger. You go on the street, you're in danger. Amen. Because we are interacting with two different realms. Yes. 
Glory yes. to God. It was Job. Whilst he was praying, the Bible said there was came a, a, um, a storm and crushed his house, his children's house, and killed them all. Job said, naked came high. Naked shall I return. The Lord give it. And the Lord take it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Unless a man shall Glory to God. I, I, I would like to carry on, but some of you can't take any more. Praise God. Because I told the church this morning, and my friend asked me, unsafe friend asked me, how long you preach for your service? Last. They use term that I never heard. Praise God. But I said, um, I don't know, October or something like that. So how long you speak for? I said about three quarters of an hour to an hour. She said, what about this time? I said, it's the same time that we grab that watch. Ben her. <laughs> They're the same. Come on. I'll be yeah, man. Ten commandments about seven hours in. Four. It's four hours. Ben Hour is four and a half. You can start watching Ben Hour when you're having a cup of tea. There's a moment until afternoon. Glory to God. And I said, they sit down and they don't. I said, it's, it's the mindset that we have. Glory to God. Most people are two hours. Two and a half, thank you. I said it's the same time. It depends on you want to catch the word. You can preach these days to you. There are people who listen to the word and say they didn't have any. But it's up to you. You go to the, the container with a spoon, you'll get a spoonful of water. That's right. And if you go with a, a cup, you'll get a cup. Yes, that's right. You see those scriptures I quoted? If you wrap them on your arms, bound them on your neck, yes. no devil in hell. That's right. Amen. Every given situation. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise God. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. Young people, you're in school, and you'll be surprised to know what the scripture said, evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse. There are certain forces that you're fighting against that you can't even understand. The minds of people are going funny. Yes. And the word said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. Jesus. Renew your mind. Yes. Renew your mind. Be transformed. Yes. It's a word. Yes. Glory to God. You are where you are. God is with you. You can take anything. Yes. And if I die through an accident or an earthquake, don't worry. You hear somebody say, George B. is dead. Just tell him I change address. Stand with me. Stand with me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My sermon finished already? All right. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There are forces all around you. Amen. You are safe and secure Hallelujah. from all around. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. There are forces all around us. Hallelujah. Believers, there are some lustful spirits that are around. There are some lying spirits. In the book of Chronicles, Jehoshaphat went down to see Ahab, his cousin. Jehoshaphat was king of Judah, and hallelujah, in Jerusalem. Ahab was king over the ten tribes. Ahab was going to war 
And he asked Joseph to feel come with him. And Joseph said, my soldiers are your soldiers. My people are your people. I will come with you. He said, is there a prophet here? Praise God. If somebody find that for me, I don't know. The name of the guy was Micaiah. He called his 450 prophets of the groves and of Baal. 400. And they all lied and said, go up to Mount Gilboa and fight. The Lord is going to give you the victory. And Joseph had suspected because there are some false prophets. He said, is there not a prophet of God? He said, yes, there's one Micaiah, but he doesn't prophesy anything good concerning him. Joseph had rebuked him and said, don't let the king say so. And sometimes we're afraid to rebuke what's wrong. Joseph had said, can you call him? When he came, he said, I saw a conference in glory. God said, who would go and persuade Ahab to go up to the mountain to be in the war, to be killed? This one said that, that one said that, God said you can't do it. And the Bible said there came a lying spirit. And said, I will go and persuade him. And he said, how are you going to do it? He said, I will do this. God said, go ahead. That orchestration was from heaven. There are forces that we do not know about. Come on. This is the only place. Praise God. I will preach this word. Amen. Because God gave it to me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are two places you stay. It's either in your tent or under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. He was killed in that battle. Joseph had was speared. There are some light spirits that persuade people to death. Bow your head, my great Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Show no walk or shake your hand and talk. Thank Jesus. I'm going to ask our young people, musicians, stay where you are. Under 18, to come out here. Praise God. Surely God will deliver us. From the noisome pestilence. Come on out here. Come. Praise God. Glory to God. Stretch your hands. Wipe it on your head. Let me give you some more. You need more. Praise God. Stand to the left. Come. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come. 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 Seriously, seriously, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, glory to God, put it right on your head, I know some of you are pretty here, I know you don't want to miss it, but it's fine, write it on your head, amen, come here, praise God, amen, praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. You got some? Praise God. You got some? Amen. You got some? Every one of you will hear. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Serious. Praise God. Hallelujah. You got some? You got some? Come. Amen. Which one do you look like? Me? It's just one of you. Praise God. Praise God.
We can't support the seeds. Come on, cancel no keeper. We cancel cancel. We cancel. In the name of Jesus. 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 Glory to God. These things may not be able to understand what is happening, but Father, we cancel. We go into the realms of darkness. We need the force of hell. We need the demons. Hallelujah. We interrupt your program. We disrupt it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we meet demon, general demon, lieutenant demon. We meet corporal demons. In the name of Jesus, we fight them in the air. We fight them on the ground. We fight them in the sea, in the serpents. We fight them in the name of Jesus. We break. We abort their plans. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Sunday, the 7th of May, 2023. Monday, the 8th of May, 2023, Bank Holiday Monday. There is no prayer and fasting at church or discipleship class. Wednesday, the 10th of May, 2023, prayer and Bible study, 7 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. at church. Dates for your diary, Sunday 14th May 2023, Friends and Family Day. Friday the 19th of May until Sunday the 21st of May 2023, Gloucester District Convention to be held at NTCG Gloucester Church, Guest Speaker International, Speaker Reverend David Shosana. Spend some time in Romans chapter 6. It talks about how God has broken the power of sin. Bereavement. Please remember those within the church and community who have had a recent bereavement or laid their loved one to rest recently. The funeral service of the late Mr. Horton Cameron will be held on Friday 12th May 2023 here at NTCG Gloucester time starting from 11 a.m. the interment to follow at Coney Hill Cemetery Gloucester funeral service of the late Cheryl Bell near Gervin 
will be held on Thursday the 18th of May 2023. Here at the NTCG Gloucester, time 11 a.m., the internment to follow at Coney Hill Cemetery, Gloucester. Funeral service of the late Leroy Powell will be held on Friday the 2nd of June 2023. Here at the NTCG Gloucester, time 11 a.m., the internment to follow at Coney Hill Cemetery, Gloucester. Friday the 12th of May 2023 baptism class will take place at 7:30 p.m. for the newly baptized and those considering baptism. Please see Bishop or Minister Tess who will be happy to provide you with more information. Saturday the 13th of May 2023 there will be no ARC cafe action reaching community if you would like to support this community project, please see Sister Daphne or Sister Arley for more information. After church, tea and coffee at the welcome table as you leave, especially for those new to the church to talk to the discipleship team. Please invite your friends and relatives to join you in service next week, Sunday. Happy birthday to those celebrating this week. Have a blessed week and please remember to invite a friend. As Edna Rose would normally quote, what God cannot do does not exist. Amen. Just before we close, I just want to remind everyone about the convention. And it's starting on the 19th. As you notice, the speaker is international um, lecturer and speaker and preacher, David Rosanna. He will be our guest speaker. Now, I heard him for the first time a couple of months ago when we went to the minister's retreat in Coventry. I was moved on. I, most of our pastors heard it before. Brother Jim and all them, they heard about the men's department. And I want you to know that he's a formidable speaker, great speaker. And uh, bring your friend, tell your friend. Um, Selena will be putting out the things that you can post to your phone. You will send it to your enemy, Sister Lita. Amen. And glory to God. Send it to your enemies and your enemies and your friends. Enemies, families, and friends. Praise God and invite them to the convention. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Please, Sister um, Wilson, invite your friend. If you don't have a friend, go and make two. Come on. Make, make two. And Sister Marva, you have a holy friend. But I heard that you were the dancing queen. Praise God. So just glory to God. So call them and tell them that we're going to have a great time. And come on, Donna. John. John. You hear me? Praise God. And John. Amen. Get some holy folks to come. Praise God. You can translate for them. Praise God. We used to do it in Nottingham until we put the translator on the platform. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because it was too much for one person to do. Come on, believers, and some of them, they have their own church now. Amen. So bring a friend. Come on. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, it's you talking. You look at the wrong neighbor. Look at the proper neighbor now and say, neighbor, is talking to you. So the convention is the 19th to the 21st, Friday night. God, bring a friend, God. Bring a friend. Sister Douglas. Call a friend. You have a lot of friends. Yeah. Praise God. You, yeah, call your friend. Faith if your friends there. Call them. Call them back. I mean, amen. And bring them to convention. Amen? amen. Friday night. Althea, we're inviting you. Bring your friends then down. Tell them your mother has much room. <laughs> and finally, finally, those, those of you who have room in your home, we want the people from Cardiff and Newport to have a place to stay over if you have a room. 
We used to do it years ago. And we don't keep them there to chat. We keep them to pray early in the morning. So when we come to church, we are charged. So if you have a room, get it. If you have a little black room, get Marshall to clear it up. So we can put them there. You remember Sister Anderson? Glory to God. I used to come here and get a little scotch. And then we get a blessing in the convention. So those of you who have two rooms, three rooms. Hallelujah. We'll get, we'll, we can buy a piece of bacon. In Lidl, it's about one twenty-five. <laughs> it's gone up? Okay, one sixty-nine. Praise the Lord. Okay. okay, God bless it. Let us stand for the benediction. Praise the Lord. So, we already started to announce on your district that people can, if they want to stay over, they can stay over. So, God bless you. Raise your hands, please. Oh, any birthdays this morning? This week? Yes, this week. Just say, Don Roy, come pick And all the birthday people, come pick you, please. Yes. Chantel anniversary, come on. Sister Winsome. Yeah. Sister, yeah. Sister Winsome on the 12th, come on. Mine is June. <laughs> Sister Paul. Yeah, I'm Mark. Okay. Anniversary. Anniversary. It's your birthday as well. Come here, come here, come here. It's your birthday coming. Oh, you know it. So Sister Paulette as well. Paulette, come on. Anniversary, come on. Oh, your anniversary, come on. Praise God. And you also have anniversary was Wednesday. Ronnie, come here, Ronnie. Come, let's celebrate the Ronnie. Ronnie. Come on, Ronnie. It's gone, Ronnie. Ronnie, come on, don't be listening. The Lord is looking right now. And here we are to be calling him. We have a mix, a minister Maxine as well from London. She's part of the Bush Choir. Where is she? Bless you. It's Maxine. 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 It's just Sister Maxine, thank you. Bless you. Minister Maxine. God bless you. Praise God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.